Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, and welcome to uh, Cherneros. Uh, as you may be able to tell by the upper right, this is Cherneros in uh, Armor Three. I was in the um, on the uh, homepage, whatever you call it, of the game in my library, and I noticed Day Zero. This is a single player at the moment Day Z mod. Um, that a guy has made. It uses a few other mods that you do have to um, put into yeah, put into your um, put into your game as well. But this is Daisy, you know, Daisy the mod. But you're running in the Armor Free engine. Uh, it's got traders like these guys here trading weapons. I have with me a uh, M16 with a suppressor on it. The uh, Hollow sight, a full time scope, and a 10 time scope. I don't think I'll use that. Uh, with a grenade launcher underneath it, because that's what it does. It's just a smoke grenade at this at the moment. So, thinking about it, that may not even pop off because of the distance. It should though. Yeah, it's like, this is, this is very much. And if you if you remember starting in DayZ, you remember the Makarov. This thing looks really nice. But this looks like the Makarov from Armor 2, just spruced up a bit. I had to drop this here because this guy doesn't actually sell them. But there is a bit of a bug at the moment. If I go sell, I can continuously buy, uh, sell rather, these binoculars, which sell for 40. I don't actually have, I do actually have binoculars with me. But I, it doesn't get rid of them for some strange reason. And if I go to trade firearms, I can only sell the thing. But you can buy most. Like uh, you can get the uh, where it, uh, the HK416, which was a uh, assault rifle, or a 5.56 assault rifle. Uh, the M12, M21, which is uh, similar to the Sega. I'm not sure if it is the Sega 12 gauge, but. It may well be. Uh, I'm not sure how you get money in this apart from selling stuff. Uh, it's got the SVD Dragonov, the SVD M, which is just the military version of it. Uh, I believe that's sort of like a slightly more, pa uh, slightly less powerful version of the uh, SVD, more of a uh, traditional AK style rather than the um, Dragonov longer uh, barrel. Uh, you've then got the Mosin Begant, uh, Carabiner 98. Uh, the VSS Ventores, which is my personal favourite weapon of all time, just because it looks so amazing. You've also got the M24 uh, Ghillie Suits. Uh, as I said earlier, this is a single player game at the moment, it's in beta, the mod is in beta, so it is, the, like I said, there is that little bug there. But it does have enemies, like, don't worry, you will be fighting people. If we go to, and this is why. I like the um, free engine is it has this camera mode so you can sort of look around. But you can also teleport basically and this shows the local area. So if we go over to where is northeast? There it is. I did um a dam over there, can't remember the name for it. So if we go down here in this area is there were these guys here, these these guys we killed earlier. Here's a body of repetitive. These are AI bandits, and they spawn in groups of up to three at uh, various destinations. Uh, if we go and have a look at North East Airfield, North West Airfield, there will be some here somewhere. It should be. Or well, maybe they're not there. I haven't, I'm not actually here. Right. So if I plonk myself down here, well, let's spawn them in. But you can just teleport at the moment. So, if I now go to the camera, now that I am here and it is loaded in this area, yeah, see, you spawn these bandits in, and these guys, they have uh, low level equipment, like these guys pretty much always have um, AKs of some description, be it the 74 or the, um, this one, which is the, I guess like the M91 or something like that, it's, they're all the Kalashnikov style of assault rifle. Uh, as for loot, the loot, I'm not sure on the respawn time, I can press the wrong button. Uh, the respawn time on the loot, but it spawns 
Uh, not at all here, apparently. Ooh. I've gone way too fast. There we go. The camera at the extreme speed is a bit too fast, and the fast speed is a bit too slow for going across distances like this. <laughs> this bench is still here! It's still got the chopped in half bench! Uh, that was the fucking pain, bane of my life in this game, that bloody goddamn bench. Oh, here's a person. Oh, it's me. <laughs> yes, there's a random person right there. What do you observe, Greg? There he is. Nailed him. Oh, I hit him. For some reason, my character has. Look, I hit him there. For some reason, my character has a really feminine voice. It is very inaccurate at this range, actually. Yeah, it's kind of going all over the place. Oh, hit him there. Nailed him. Nailed him. That guy there seems to have a, um... The SPD. This guy. Oh. Right, these guys are about 400 meters away ish. I'm trying to shoot them with a M16. So cut me some clack, it's not the most accurate weapon in the world. Fuck! Gone, finally! See ya! Those are all AI. They obviously will be able to shoot you a lot further than you can shoot them, especially when you're using an assault rifle like this rather than an actual um, marksman rifle. Ah, oh, there it is. So this is the uh, Russian way of figuring out where your targets are. You can see down the uh, bottom there's the little scale. Well, let's have someone talking. And you can uh, use that to determine on a standing man of average height. I don't know what average height is in this game. Um, how far away they are. So at the moment he's looking somewhere in the region of 300 meters. 350? 350 meters roughly. We call that 350. The lead. I oh, moved. Oh, yeah. Um, but you, you can see what I mean. It is very much the Day Z mod, the Day Zero mod. Uh, this is obviously not the non-Apex version, as because I haven't actually finished the actual game yet. I don't want to be getting the uh, expansion packs for it. So I think I got the cart and the marksman stuff. Uh, you do unfortunately, in my experience so far, always spawn at the same place, which is just outside of Chernerus. Yeah, you always spawn just outside of Chernerus. So you always spawn in the middle of Cherno, almost in the middle of Cherno and Electro, which is as far as it goes, a good start point, but at the same time not really, and it does reset the entire map, so if I now jump back over to um, north, eh, well, northwest, we're calling it northeast, it's been too long since I played. Okay. My body is now gone, and everything that was there is gone as well. So it does a complete reset of the map, which is unfortunate because it would be nice if there was a way of um, sustain, uh, sustaining your body so you could get back to it, but I don't think it will ever happen. This but as I was saying, this is a beta, so just thought I'd let you guys know because I kind of really hope that he is apparently working on a multiplayer version. But like, I don't even know if you can host this at the moment. At the moment, it's just classed under a scenario. And if you did host this as a person, everyone would spawn here. 
and only here. So the spawn camping would be insane. But yeah, I will see you guys later. I'm gonna go up there. And we shall talk again. So it's this beautiful view. I really do like generous. There's a submarine. I haven't even been to a lecture yet. There's a bunch of submarine. Do I have enough to this? I do not. I'm gonna go check that out. But as I'm gonna check that out, you guys can come and download this mod and see for yourself. But I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have a nice morning, a nice evening, and a nice afternoon. And uh, sleep well, I guess. I'm about to. Oh shit. <laughs>